Well, debate night is upon us, and we're only a few hours away from the actual debate happening. So that's what uh, two of the three videos today are going to be discussing. First up, Harris is facing against Donald Trump, and it's unstoppable force meets immovable object? Maybe? Maybe not. Before we get into that, though, I do need your help. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before I turn 40 in the beginning of December. So click the like, follow, and share buttons, and then leave me a comment down below. It helps me on the algorithm and helps me get bigger. Now, from CNN, Harris braces for the most critical moment of her political career at debate with Trump. Kamala Harris' joyful campaign will uh, Tuesday be hit with the blunt force of reality, a debate with Donald Trump, the most menacing political foe of modern times. Or is he? Because I, I, don't, I don't really see that. He's relatively normal. He has not been endorsed by Dick Cheney and the other neocon pieces of garbage. He seems to be in favor of improving America, whereas she seems to be in favor of limiting um, the ability to buy food and housing. The vice president transformed the 2024 election after President Joe Biden's abject uh, debate showing against Trump on CNN in June led him to end his re-election bid. She restored several swing states to the electoral battlefield and has had Democrats dreaming of a stun stunning turnout in a race most thought uh, were well on the way to losing. And we'll cover why that's actually probably not the case in the next video. Yet her success in unifying her party, which really hasn't happened as much as the mainstream media would like you to believe, because remember, they're carrying her water with badly sampled and badly modeled polling to try and make her look more popular than she is. Look up preference cascades. Branding herself as a fresh voice of generational change and closing into a dead heat with Trump in polling that, again, was badly modeled, uh, has so far not uh, cemented a reliable path to the 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. Indeed, if the election were on Tuesday, the ex-president, who has already defied an assassination attempt and scores of criminal charges, which were all lawfare in, and an attempt to remove him from the, uh, uh, the campaign, just like the assassination attempt, all orchestrated by the deep state, uh, he could still win. Presidential debates usually don't decide elections, but the lady who can't speak off script is going to have to speak off script tonight, notwithstanding the cataclysmic impact of Biden's wipeout. But Tuesday night represents the best remaining chance for Harris to drive home a decisive argument that could thwart Trump's historic comeback, like rent control on a national scale that would make investing in new housing overly priced and basically uh, destroy it, as well as price controls on groceries that would make it almost impossible for farmers to put food in the grocery stores. Remember, communists have no idea how food gets to the grocery stores. They just think that's where food comes from, and therefore their vote should not count the same as yours does. Her assignment in Philadelphia would require the use of rhetorical skills that have been often questioned uh, in an uneven vice president. There's the understatement of the century. While she had her, or while she has had her moments in debates with Senate here or in Senate hearings, Harris has sometimes struggled to articulate clear policies and unanswered uh, or and answers under pressure in spontaneous situations. Moving forward, looking forward to what can be unburdened by what has been her willingness to submit to only one major media interview since becoming the Democratic nominee on CNN last month. That was supposed to be an hour long and was so heavily edited because it was such a disaster that it ended up only being 18 minutes, has only raised the bar for her performance in what is so far the only scheduled debate with Trump and will probably be the only debate with Trump. The bar is on the floor and Harris is preparing to pick up a shovel. And while the uh, former president has now taken part in presidential uh, debates in three separate elections, <coughs> this will be Harris' first venture onto the debate stage since her meeting with former Vice President Mike Pence in 2020. And her mic will be muted when she's not talking, so she won't be able to jump in and girl boss her way through it. A stunning contrast will be visible on stage as she seeks to become the first black woman and uh, South Asian president. As if any of that matters, what matters is policy and hers are terrible and were copied with the same source code from the Biden campaign website. So there is that. Harris will come into close quarters for the first time with a rival who will do anything to win and who has a history of using racial and gendered uh, tropes for political gain, said the liars. But, you know, 
she's not doing everything she can to win by attempting to assassinate President Donald Trump through her deep state lackeys. And I know it wasn't her. I know it was her handlers, her deep state bosses, the puppet masters, so to speak. But you know the point. Trump has questioned her intelligence and race as a black woman. No, not exactly. But she has touted being of South Indian descent and not of, uh, of black descent until very, very recently. And again, none of that actually matters. It doesn't matter that she's a woman. It doesn't matter what her ethnicity is. What matters is her policies are terrible. That is all that matters. CNN wants you to care about race because CNN is racist. CNN wants you to care about sex because CNN is sexist. Donald Trump doesn't care about any of that, nor has he ever made uh, any points about that. They're liars. Um, let's see. Uh, and has made a sexual innuendo about her on social media. Citation needed. But the vice president seems determined not to be drawn into his traps. She refused in her CNN interview to address Trump's race-based rhetoric because she can't actually have a comeback, uh, dismissing it as the same old tired playbook and adding next question, please, again, because she has no way to actually respond to it. And it's also entirely irrelevant. Harris has far less top-level political experience than either um, uh, 2016 Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton or Biden when they confronted Trump in presidential debates. And even some members of her own party didn't believe that she was the strongest potential Democratic leader uh, for a post-Biden era. That's 100% true. But on Tuesday, Harris has a chance to change perceptions about her political acumen and uh, to put down a marker for the sprint to November 5th, which she will likely not do very well. A campaign that has been about avoiding error and limiting unscripted public exposure for the vice president faces a nowhere to hide moment on primetime television. And the entire mask is going to slip off as a result. Uh, and the price of failure is enormous, something which Democrats fear. Again, we'll cover that in the next video, as it could put a strongman ex-president who tried to subvert U.S. democracy. That's a lie. We're going to move on. The stakes for Democrats were emphasized on Saturday when Trump vowed in a social media post to prosecute and jail election officials, political opponents, donors, and others who he suggests will have cheated in the election as he made yet more untrue accusations that his... His 2020 loss was the result of voter fraud. Look, he is going to prosecute people if it can be proven that fraud happened. No one is saying that fraud is going to happen. He's warning that if it does, he's coming after you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Why would CNN not want actual fraud to be uh, taken care of? It's a good question, isn't it? And again, I'm not saying that fraud does or will happen. I'm just saying that in the event it does, wouldn't you want our elections to be secure? How Harris could win. Still, if Harris can withstand the pressure and stare down the onslaught of Trump and or, uh, the debate offers her significant opportunities, potentially more than those open to Trump, who's already a love him or hate him known quantity. A successful performance on a Tuesday night could establish a platform for the vice president to convince uh, undecided voters in critical swing states that she has credible plans to improve their lives. And she very well could do just as poorly as Biden did. Uh, a New York Times Siena College poll released this weekend hinted at the possibilities for her to grow, finding that 28 percent of likely voters wanted to learn more about the vice president, whereas only nine percent thought the same of the Republican nominee. That's because she's been hiding in a bunker while he has been open in public his entire life. Harris has clearly been thinking about how to win over those voters. She has, for example, shown more concern for their economic challenges than Biden by saying she's going to ban grocery stores for Char or, uh, from charging more for food than she thinks is acceptable, which will cause shortages and cause farmers to go bankrupt, which will mean mass starvation in the country. Whose defensive uh, statements on the unevenness of the post-pandemic recovery became a liability. Harris has vowed to crack down on what she says is price gouging, that's price controls, on groceries. She uh, says she wants to help first-time home buyers with up to $25,000 in down payment support, which will make housing $25,000 more expensive than it is today day um, and wants to make rent more affordable, which means landlords will not invest in new housing. And so we will have more of a housing shortage than we already do. And in a broader sense, she is offering voters a chance to avoid uh, the chaos, bitterness and political turbulence that raged in Trump's first term that was paid for by her encouraging people to bail out rioters in the streets. Uh, and that is in or that his increasingly wild statements suggest would only intensify in a second. Again, it's all left wing uh, violence that happened during his term.
It doesn't happen. They put that down hardcore during Democrat administrations. They only let it happen when they're trying to get the Republican out of office. Harris will be fully prepared, pressing X to doubt on that one. She's basically just been LARPing debates. We're going to move on from that one. That's basically all there is in the article because that's all there is to Harris. Donald Trump is going to come in. He's probably going to hit her on policy, which he knows very, very well, and she doesn't even her own. It's going to be a very spicy debate tonight. I don't know if you're going to watch, but I'm going to do my best to uh, either watch it tonight or sometime tomorrow. Till next time. Thanks for watching.